Wasco's customers in the north of the island were left high and dry for nearly a week as delays in repairs to a raw water main prolonged the resumption of service. The matter has renewed interest in Wasco's aging infrastructure. Ahead of Cabinet on Monday morning, Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre expounded on a revelation he made during his budget address concerning the procurement of a piece of equipment by Wasco that remains non-functional. Wasco decided to purchase that piece of equipment. That piece of equipment only works three times. Three times minimum or maximum five times. And now as we speak, it is sitting at Union covered on the piece of tarpaulin. $700,000 of our money. There can be no excuse for that. Prime Minister Pierre says, despite the uproar over the assignment of a special prosecutor aimed at holding public officials responsible for alleged misuse and abuse of state power and funds, his administration aims to ensure accountability and transparency where the taxpayer funds are concerned. There's a lot of panic, a lot of talk, a lot of talk about the place, a lot of talk because the special prosecutor uh, uh, legislation is, is on the books. Another talk. But we, we are not in the business of threatening people. Or the we are going to systematically examine what went, what went wrong. The fact is, nearly $700,000 was spent on a piece of equipment. That piece of equipment ought to have been purchased by the contractor. Despite the pushback by members opposite, the Prime Minister remains resolute in his crusade to hold public officials to account. I'm not making any aspersions. We're going to find out where is the warranty for certain equipment. If you buy a car, there's a warranty for the car. So if the car doesn't work, it gets the, gov the person who sold it to you, gives you some form of compensation. $700,000 over equipment. That's, that's what they're talking about. Somebody must take responsibility because of all the excuses that, 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 that they may make. But point is, we're not making any threats. If we're going, it's, it's going to take its course and we'll see exactly what is happening. Pierre says that while the ongoing water woes involving Wasco may not be deliberate, the government remains concerned about the inconsistency in the delivery of service of the vital resource. Sula Shalford, HTS News Force.